Good afternoon. Welcome to the press conference for Elena Rabakina. Please raise your hand, state your name and organisation when asking your question. Um, Elena, how did it feel to be out on Centre Court today? Uh, yeah, of course, it was uh, nervous a bit, but uh, overall, I'm happy that in the end I managed to win uh, three sets. Hi, Elena. Um, well done today. Um, you say you're nervous. How are those nerves after dropping the first set? How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I think I didn't start that well. I was uh, not moving that great and uh, straight away it was a break from the first game. So, of course, after that, it's uh, it's difficult. And I was not that reactive on the return also. So, yeah, it got, uh, I, I needed like the full set, I will say, which is uh, not the greatest, of course, uh, to feel better and start playing uh, also and uh, raise the level. So. So Roger Federer was about 10 feet behind you when you were down that end. How inspiring is it to see a legend of Wimbledon so close to you and watching you and clapping you at every point? Uh, yeah, it was maybe that's why I was nervous because actually I really like uh, Roger and uh, uh, when I was younger I was always watching him play. So uh, it was really special and uh, uh, the year after to, to be again on this court with the same crowd, it was... Uh, really special and uh, first matches I think they're always tough I would say like mentally to get uh, to the rhythm of the of the tournament so hopefully the next uh, the next match is going to be easier. Congratulations. Do you think part of the reason for your nerves was that you felt the responsibility as, as champion and you wanted to put in a performance in a strange way were you more nervous than maybe you had been last year? Uh, I will say that uh, first it was not so many matches before and uh, of course uh, just the atmosphere and uh, the attention to be on the center court it's different than the last year because last year I started on a smaller court and uh, uh, with every match I was playing better and better feeling better but uh, here it's different straight away you go to this big court and uh, I think for me it's now new chapter and this is something I need to get used and uh, try to maintain my level and uh, yeah just to get used to all these things. Uh, congrats on the win today. On a slightly different note, I, I noticed you were wearing darker shorts and that's obviously a rule change this year. How, um, how what do you think about the rule uh, change? You, was it kind of a relief and nice to have the option to, to wear darker shorts on court? Uh, I think it's uh, good to have an option, but at the same time, I was also uh, fine with all white. I mean, it's just, uh, I think changes are good and uh, we still have the same tradition to be in full white. It's just uh, maybe little uh, uh, adjustment, but overall, I think it's, uh, it's, it's good, yeah. Uh, hi. Um... Vanity Bettini Eisport. Um, your preparation to Wimbledon probably wasn't ideal. You had to retire in Paris. You couldn't play in Lisbon. I was wondering, do you feel you have enough matches um, on grass or enough tennis on grass to, uh, to face the tournament? And uh, how are you feeling physically? Are all the, the problems that you had in the past week, behind, weeks behind you, or is there still something worrying you? Uh, physically, I'm feeling good. Of course, maybe I'm missing a bit uh, some things here and there because we didn't put enough uh, hours or maybe the hours we wanted to do. Uh, but overall, I feel good. And uh, uh, I think with every match, I'm going to just uh, uh, also get in physically more, uh, uh, more ready for all the matches. So yeah, hopefully I can play as many as I can here. Many players go through ups and downs, kind of a roller coaster. How would you describe your year so far? Uh, I think it's really a successful year for me, but I would say that it was also a lot of ups and downs. It was like great results. And then unlucky, I got sick in Paris and before I had some problems with the back and he was always kind of on the edge uh, every time. So. It's very successful, but then in between, uh, the goal is to maintain 
physically better and uh, not to have so many like drops, I would say. Lily from Shanghai Radio. Last year, I was interviewing you privately one by one um, in a small room, and I think that would never be possible uh, from now on. And then since then, you were unstoppable. How you managed to deal with the ever increasing pressure because it always seems so calm on our observer. It looks like, but not uh, really in my first game of the match <laughs> with the double four. This is un unusual for me, but uh, I think, as I said, it's just a new chapter for me and I accept accepting the challenges. And uh, uh, this is the level I want to keep. And uh, of course, I want to go higher, but uh, the most important to also not to go up quick and then fall quickly. So. Uh, I want to maintain and my team is helping me to also uh, with some kind of pressure, either it's from outside or just uh, sometimes I can put on myself if I don't hit the greatest shots, like uh, it's always uh, maybe I don't feel so good about it, but in the end of the day, you cannot always have uh, good days. It's uh, you never feel 100%. So this is something you need to go through this season. China is open and will you have any plan to do the China season, any tournament as well as the Asia Games? Uh, yes, for sure. I'm actually very excited to, to be back finally in China. Alex? Um, you've talked about the nerves, but is there something you said to yourself or a technique you employed to shake them off because you finished the match very strongly, only lost five points in serve in the second and <coughs> third sets, so it seemed like you shook off the nerves? I think in the beginning it was just uh, uh, not the greatest start and then of course uh, on grass everything changes quickly and with a breakdown it's not easy. Uh, I think Shelby she played really well also for a set. She didn't have so many mistakes so um, I'm not so happy that it took me the whole set I will say but uh, uh, in the end, I just tried to focus on every point and force it on my serve and then just uh, to try to get the returns and uh, it's it's not easy. It's also different condition, closed roof and uh, mm, I think overall I managed good. Yeah. Yeah. And Barbara Klinker from the uh, German newspaper, Süddeutsche Zeitung. I was wondering if you followed headlines that there's a new sort of top three of women, including you and Iga and um, you know, Sabalenka. Have you heard of that? And do you think that is appropriate? Or would you say it's rather much more, many more people actually in, in that top three? Uh, well, I hear that only on the press conferences. I don't follow so much on the internet, but uh, I think just uh, from the past results, people are saying that, but there is still a lot of good players. and. Uh, I think it's too early to say anything about uh, just three players because uh, uh, it's not like it was Roger or Djokovic is still too far. That's why uh, I don't really focus on that. And uh, yeah, anyone still can beat anyone. Any further questions? Okay, great. We'll wrap it up then. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you.